And welcome to the Give Garden. The Give Garden is the decentralized governance platform for the Give economy. There are three pillars of governance in the Give Garden. One is the Covenant, which is a decentralized social contract that aligns the standards for on-chain and off-chain community behavior. In order to create a proposal in the Give Garden, anyone who wants to create a proposal needs to sign on-chain the Covenant, which I'll get into a little bit later. We also use conviction voting. Conviction voting is the voting mechanism by which we determine which proposals get funding in the Give Garden. With conviction voting, voting power is a function of both number of tokens and time. So if a proposal has a lot of tokens staked behind it, it could pass. Or if a proposal has some tokens staked behind it for a long period of time, it could also pass. DAO voting is a yes, no decision making tool. And we use DAO voting in the Give Garden for proposals that have to do with changing the structure of the DAO, changing parameters in the garden itself, and things like that. Well, let's jump into the Give Garden. So this is the Give Garden. The Garden's platform was created by OneHive, which is an amazing DAO uh, that's building tools and infrastructure that we can all use. So in the Give Garden, uh, you can see the proposals that are actively open. There are funding proposals in here. And if you wanted to vote on any of these proposals, the first thing that you would have to do is wrap your gift tokens. There are two ways of wrapping your gift tokens. One way is by clicking right here where it says wrap, typing in the amount of gift tokens that you'd like to wrap, and confirming the transactions. Takes a few moments. You can see that now the amount of tokens I have available to wrap has gone down and in a moment it will refresh and you'll see that I've wrapped 1000 GGIF. The really cool thing about wrapping tokens is that when you wrap tokens in the GIF garden, you have actually earn a yield on them. So you'll actually see the, the yield earned here. If you click the claim button, it will send you back to the GIF garden and it'll show the tokens that um, you're earning by, by wrapping them in the GIF garden. Fun fact is that there's actually a second way to wrap tokens for the Give Garden, and it's here on our Give Farm page. So this 100% Give staking pool is actually the same. It interacts with the same contract as the wrapping function in the garden. So if I'm to click stake here, I could stake the rest of the Give tokens that I have. Confirm the transactions in my MetaMask. and click stake. Once the transaction is confirmed, I can navigate back to the gift garden, and then you'll see that I actually have my full amount of gift tokens which are wrapped. So you can see the full 7,777 GIVE tokens available now in the garden. So in order to interact with proposals in the garden, I can scroll through them, click on anyone that I like, and in the proposal you'll be able to see more information. You'll be able to see the amount of GIVE that's being requested, uh, the amount that was deposited, where the GIVE will be going, if the proposal passes, and at the bottom, it will show the information that's on the forum post. And at any point you want to read more about a proposal in the Give Garden, you can click read the full proposal and it'll send you to that forum post in our forum. All proposals in the, in the Give Garden should really follow a five-day advice process. So in order to create a proposal first, a proposer would have to make a forum post, leave it up there for five days, and then they're able to create the funding request in the actual garden. So what I can do here is if I like this proposal, I can choose to support it by clicking support this proposal, type in the amount of give that I want to support this proposal with, confirm the transactions in my MetaMask,
and success. You, you'll be able to see, oh, well, you can't see me there because I only staked, I only staked 1,000 give, but you'll be, you would be able to see me here if I had more give staked and it changes the amount of support that's needed. If you scroll to the top here, you can actually see the amount of time estimated until the proposal passes. As I mentioned earlier, funding proposals are using conviction voting. So the longer that I leave my token staked behind a proposal, the faster, uh, the more voting power it acquires, and then the faster the proposal can pass. There's also a minimum threshold of support that's required in order for any proposal to pass, so a certain number of tokens that need to be staked on that proposal. Um, so that's also something to keep in mind as you're looking through proposals here. And there's also this abstain proposal. The abstain proposal um, is a great place to put your tokens if you're not really sure which proposals to vote on, um, but you still want to be actively voting in the garden. Um, all proposals, if, if there are tokens staked on proposals that are not a particular proposal, then a particular proposal will pass slower. So if you were to stake your tokens on the abstain proposal, it would actually mean that, um, that all the other proposals will pass slower because your tokens, your token voting power is behind the abstain proposal. So I'm going to stake some tokens on the abstain proposal, wait for it to confirm. And that's it. So this is how you vote on funding proposals in the gift garden. It's really important to be aware of which proposals that you're voting on. So I definitely encourage you to, to review the forum proposed, read the full proposals before you stake your tokens behind proposals in the garden. And there's a lot of action here in the forum and always feel free to create an account in the forum and leave any comments on proposals if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions. If you wanted to create a proposal, this is always an option as well for give holders. You have to click create a proposal here. But as I mentioned before, in order to create a proposal, you first need to sign the covenant. So the, the covenant is actually uploaded to IPFS, so it's on chain and any changes to the covenant need actually to be done through the garden. So that's actually sort of difficult to change. We need give token holder support to change the covenant. So it's important before creating a proposal to review carefully the covenant and ensure that everything is in alignment with your proposal. Once you get to the bottom, you can click sign. You confirm that you're signing it on chain. Then there'll be a transaction, a MetaMask transaction pop-up. Confirm the transaction in your MetaMask. And you're rolling. Next step is to actually create the proposal. So in order to create a proposal, you have to deposit an amount of give, in this case, 5,000 give, in order to create the proposal. Right now in the Give Garden, 5,000 give is the required proposal deposit amount. If your proposal isn't challenged and it goes through, you'll actually get this 5,000 give back. Keep in mind that you have to remove your give from proposals in order to deposit into the Give Garden if you don't have enough give in your account. So I've removed some of the give from the abstain proposal, so I still have some available. I'm going to put 5,000 into the deposit manager. Just confirm the transactions in my MetaMask. Keep in mind that in order to deposit funds into the garden for the deposit manager, you actually need to have give tokens. So these have to be unwrapped give tokens that you're depositing into the deposit manager. After depositing the funds, you can go ahead and create the proposal. This is just showing that I've passed the requirements. You can select the proposal type. The suggestion is just something that you want the community to vote on on chain. That isn't necessarily requesting funds. A funding request is requesting funds from the give garden. So you need to put the title of the proposal. Um, 
token swap with X node. The requested amount, maybe I'm requesting 1,000 give. You put in the beneficiary's address. This is the address to which the funds will be dispersed. And then link to the forum post. As I mentioned before, it needs to be to a forum post that's been active on the Give a Forum for five days, leaving enough time for advice process. Since I don't actually want to create this proposal, I'll just close that. And that's it. This is how to use the Give Garden, how to create proposals, how to vote on proposals. As I mentioned at the beginning, when you have tokens wrapped in the garden, you're actually earning a yield on them. So in order to see the Give tokens that you've earned in the Give Garden, you can just click the Claim button and head over to give.giveth.io slash givegarden. There you can click Harvest and claim the rewards that you've earned. And that's all. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you voting with your Give in the Give Garden soon.